Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, guys? It's Attack on Samurai, and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown Live for you guys. Uh, but it's not just any Showdown Live. Um, it has been a long time, but I'm gonna be doing some G some uh, VGC. Uh, last time I did VGC was with the uh, Aerial Ace, and it was fun. Um, but then I forgot about about you know playing VGC, and I just went back to singles. But um, with the new format being around and such, and also with the new mods being introduced from the Crown Tundra, I was just like, you know what? Maybe it would be really fun to get back into VGC. So, I decided to uh, have a guest on the channel who's also, like, pretty VGC savvy. So, uh, guess, introduce yourself to the people. Uh, hey, what's, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name's Everglade Lee. Uh, I've been playing, I run a VGC YouTube channel. I've been playing VGC for... I don't know, around uh, two years now. So uh, I, ha I have some experience under my belt. I've been played in some tournaments, won some, won some pretty major tournaments. Uh, but I'm joined here with Attack on Samurai. Thank you for having me on the channel. Oh, you're it's, welcome. It's an honor to be on here. <laughs> um, and we're going to be playing some uh, VGC today. It's going to be super fun. Um, so the, the, the type of team uh, that we're using today is going to be a sand hyper offensive team because, you know, I, and it's going to be featured Dracovish because let me tell you guys, <laughs> if you thought Dracovish was broken before in singles, this thing gets sand rush now. It's hidden ability is released and you slap a choice band on that boy and oh, you're going to send all the noobs crying to their mamas. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, it's, it's no joke. It's, it's no joke. <laughs> so before we get started, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord Bushido Gang, and subscribe for more content on the channel. Also, check out Ever, Everglade. Uh, Glade, I'm so sorry. I think I butchered your name. I'm so sorry, uh, Glade. It, 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 <laughs> but, uh, but please subscribe to uh, Glade and check out his VGC content. Um, he's very competent in his abilities to play VGC, so... I'm going to let him Maybe. take the wheel, and he can talk about the team, because I don't know nothing about VGC again. Like I said, I haven't played in months, and he's got it. So go ahead, bro. You take the team. Go ahead and talk Ooh. about it. <laughs> okay, all right. So the team right here, the six mods that we are using today, the six mods that we totally did not put together in about 15 minutes. <laughs> all right, so we're using Dracovish, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Zapdos, Galar, or as I've heard it being called, Gapdos, Gapdos, Amigas, <laughs> and Rotom Heat. Now, the in the inspiration behind this team is obviously Dracovish because Dracovish is absolutely busted, and Pokemon thought it'd be a good idea to make it even more busted with Sand Rush. And so, in order to use Dracovish, we need a Sand uh, user that can set up the Sand, and Tyranitar is an exceptional user with that. Excadrill, Sand Rush as well, gets more speed. Uh, Zapdos Galar is in there because, uh, you know, we're pretty intimidate week right now. So we slap Zapdos on there, Defiant. Then our, our, our opponents are pretty scared. Uh, then we got Amoongus. Uh, Amoongus here. Uh, Amoongus is pretty good uh, against... It's a good Trick Room It can spore a lot of stuff. Rage Powder gives us a bit more defensive utility. Then we have uh, Rotom Heat here. Rotom Heat, basically, it, it's pretty defensive. Uh, it's a pretty defensive Rotom Heat. It's meant to take on Glass Year and Metagross. If you guys don't know, Glass Year is insanely good in VGC right now. Trick Room is really good right now, and Rotom Heat is one of the best counters. And Dyn and Metagross is really good in this format because Dynamax exists, and Metagross is just oh god, it, it, it's good. Let's let's put it that way. <laughs> items, um, items. We're running Choice Band on Dracovish. We are running Weakness Policy on Tyranitar. Focus Sash on Excadrill. Life Orb on Gapdos. Cobra Berry on Amoongus. And I forgot what item. Uh, what item on Rotom? Was it Citrus Berry? Yeah. All right, Citrus Berry on Rotom. So that's that's the team we're rocking out with today. And uh, we'll see how it does. Never played a never played a game with this team in my life, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> let's find out. It's always yeah. good to test. <laughs> it's always good to test. Most definitely. Oh, yo, I've seen this team before. This is a Wait, 2017 team. Can you hear team. my in-game audio? Um, no, I can't hear it. All right, all right, very good, good. Um, but yo, I've seen this team before. This yo, is this like is a... a 2017 team. What is happening? Yeah. Um... This man's three years behind. He's behind the Rona. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Rona yo, doesn't even exist for this man. You're you're wrong for that. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so what's the plan here what's the plan right, galley so 
we see Arcanine. So Arcanine is an Intimidator. So maybe Zapdos looks good here. But we do have to keep in mind he has a Tapu Koko. Mm -hmm. um, for that reason, I want to lead Amoongus. Uh, Amoongus looks pretty good here. Okay. Um, Amoongus Zapdos actually looks really good. All right. And uh, then Drill and Tar in the back? Uh, I'm trying to think here. Because... I'm actually, actually I don't really I'm not really good with this format. Uh Rotom here is only good against Celesteela, pretty much. What about Tar and, and Dracovish? I honestly like Tar and Dracovish better just because we can fish this right and bop everything. Alright, bet. Alright, well, we're gonna see how this works. Okay. Alright, so Moongus, Celesteela, Coke Celesteela Chomp. Okay, that's it. Right. Celesteela can go for air slash here, which I don't really like. Okay. Um But we are Cobo Berry Moongus. I think you're safe to he has Coco. He could always switch into Coco. He could probably switch into Coco with Chomp, in my opinion. So I think, I think he's likely to do that. I'd honestly, I don't really know what I want to do here. I think Spor he wait, couldn't Spore still hit Celesteela anyway since Spore, it's flying? Yeah, Spore still, still hit Celesteela, so probably Spore the Celesteela and go for a thunderous kick onto the guard Chomp. Okay. Oh. And oh. Wait. Okay, wait, that's we're fast. fine. Wait, okay. That's fine. Okay. We spore this. Alright. If you throw a Zapdos, I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. We spore you. Oh, we got the special attack boost, though. Oh. Mm. Um. That's that's annoying. Alright, so now what do we do? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess we go Tar and then yeah. Dynamax. Nah, well, we're not going to be dealing any damage to Steel. That's a problem. Vish is, might be our best option here. Okay. So um, he could be he's he is probably EQ guard chomp though. No, he's probably stomping tantrum with that team. So let's go Vish. Go okay. Vish, I'd say. Alright. Alright, I'm so, I'm kinda resting VGC here, so we'll see what we can get done. <laughs> um he is plus two attack. I think we still have to rage powder it. Okay. And we gotta hit him with a fish gotta keep him honest in with that fish's run. Honestly into the chomp. So okay. we need to get rid of that thing. So fish is run the chomp and then just uh rage, rage powder. powder. Alright, cool. Yeah. Yeah, he, he is Earthquake. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. Uh, looks like we're a bit rusty. Yeah, it's all right. We'll take up the Chomp here. Yeah, but oh, like oh, we just barely lived it. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> okay. Um, Lele, this is a scary team. What the hell? Yeah. So we got to bank on the fact that Celestial is gonna stay asleep this final turn. Okay. So Heart switch out Amoongus into T Tar, so we get that uh, Sand Rush, and then Fish just Ren Lele. Okay. Oh. It's a good play, but I don't think it matters. Let's see what happens. Banded, though. Or banded. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't wake up, we're good here, I think. Okay, nice. And... Okay, that's really good because his Dynamax is down. Okay. So he's probably going to protect and Lele? Right? <sighs> Just Le Yeah, Lele normally runs Protect. Fudge. Wait, does it? No, I meant, uh, I meant St uh, Steela. Steela. Steela runs Protect. It's actually a really tough call. Um, I mean, I think Fish is running into Steela could work. No, 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 no. Or... Fish just ran Lele because Titar, um... Are you sure? I feel like Seal is more of a threat. Just because yeah, the boost. Yeah, Seal is more of a threat. Dynamax, um, Dynamax, uh, Darkness, Steela, and Fish just ran Steela. You're All right. right, you're right. Alright. Let's see what happens Let's hope, here. let's hope. Oh, oh my god! Yo, wait, delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it. How much is this gonna do? Wait, delete it. It. wait, what? Delete. Oh, he's Did gone. Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Boys, boys this is hype. Oh, and we got a Moogus in the back? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he he's to... gone. He's Wait. curted right now. So do we just max Rockfall and then just Sledge Bomb? And then that's that? Yeah. Um, yeah, he can even KO us with a crit Moonblast. Oh. So yeah, because we're dying. Yo. And, and uh, special defense boost. So honestly, just max Rockfall and Sledge Bomb. All or right. if you're still protect, protect the Moongus. But but don't 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 that's a terrible <laughs> <laughs> rock rockfall rockfall sludge bomb. Okay. Yeah, cause like you said, focus blast shouldn't kill. And moonblast we get the boost, so we'll die anyway. Jeez. Yeah. And uh yeah, and special defense drop on Lele, so maybe Sludge Bomb would even KO here. I doubt it. Lele has really good speed def anyway. It's like ninety five, I think. Ninety five uh, yeah, or hundred or something like that. Mugus honestly doesn't even have bad special attack. Yeah, eighty five is decent on that thing. He's, he's crazy. And he's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done. I think he's going to time out. He's like, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, no, he didn't. Wait, why would you Moonblast? Wait, that Specs Lele. Did you see how much that did? Yeah, that did so much damage. 
I mean, okay, we're max defense, but that is total, totally spec slay. I'm so surprised. Hey, like, I'm so surprised he brought a whole like gen. I mean, a whole uh, 2017 team. Like that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> no, it, it's weird. I mean, that is literally 2017. I I haven't. I mean, when I play 2017, I barely even knew what EVs were. So I don't really have that good. You know, I don't. I can't say 20. I can't really give you an accurate representation of 2017 was, but mm -hmm. that. From what I've seen from uh, pretty high level play, that was a that was a 2017 team right there. Wow. But we'll, yeah. we'll take it. first win. Definitely. And, uh, I thought we were gonna lose that one. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, <laughs> no, oh, no. Like when I saw the Celestia setup, I was just like, what the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> I was, I'm just on Dynamax. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, this was a really good start. I like that. Yeah, that was a really good start. All right, this team putting it work so far. Yeah. Oh right. shoot. Mamo is honestly a threat. Okay, okay. so he has, he has Rillaboom, and Rillaboom is going to be really good against Vish just because Grassy will go first, so mm -hmm. Vish is random doesn't deal as much. Mm -hmm. um, although Vish is really good against his team, so we actually want to bring Vish in the back. If we get rid of Rilla, um, then we're in a pretty good spot. Okay. Honestly, Zapdos looks like such a good lead. The only thing that really threatens Zapdos is Reggie Lackey, so honestly, Zapdos Amoongus looks pretty solid here i like that so zapdos moongus and then drill and then like drill tar that's tough um because i i kind of want to use vish this match but i'm trying to think of what vish is going to be good against vish is going to be good against reggie Lecky, mamo and ensign which actually wait hold up does drill, wait drill deals with all of them wait wait so, does uh does fish even outspeed reggie Lecky? i don't think it does even in the uh, sand reggie Lecky runs 277 dracovish were uh one two seven, but people don't run max speed Reggie Lecky. People normally run twenty eight speed on Reggie Lecky because that uh, um, outspeeds uh, Faramosa by one point. Although oh. I wouldn't entirely trust that because this is a little ladder, they might go max speed. True. So I guess so, drill and tar. Yeah. So Zapdos and Moongus drill tar, I think, is our best option because drill covers for the Mamo, mm -hmm. Reggie Lecky, and Insan in back. I mean, yeah, it's a check to Insan. Okay, bet. I'm okay with this. All right, Reggie Lucky in DD. Okay, that's actually fine by me. Okay. Actually, it's not. Wait, he's not expand. Why is he not psychic train? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, he could. If he was psychic train, he could have expanding force this turn one. So what do um, we do here? Just protect and then just spore something. Protect and spore Reggie Lucky, honestly. All right. Because I might try to volt switch here. I mean, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Fake. What? Oh. Oh. That was such a wacky play. <laughs> okay. I've never seen fake out in DD in my life before. I play you know, I played thousands of games. I've never seen that. Okay. Isn't All wait, right. okay. Yeah, because this thing gets gets um psychic surge, so why yeah, would you run fake out? Priority. Yeah. Um, Alright, so what you want to do here is you want to uh switch out into Excadrill here and spore the wait, switch out into Excadrill and spore the in DD so he can't go for follow me. Okay. Because Reggie Lucky doesn't pose a threat if we switch in next good drill. All right. Perfect. Ooh. Yep, there you go. There okay, you go. okay, okay. I like this so far. Oh, taste. Just a little taste. There you go. <laughs> so do we go All tar right. on, on Amoongus then and then just start a... And then just hit the uh, Reggie Lucky? No, I mean, honestly, we're good to staying with Amoongus here. Um, okay. Because Reggie Lucky is... Because Reggie Lucky is going to... He's probably gonna switch, but I think if, unless he has Rillaboom in back, we're good to just stay in. I'd go for a high horsepower into the DD, get chip on it, and okay. then spore the Regilecki slot. Because what can Regilecki do here? Oh yeah, right. You can spore twice. That's so yeah, broken. You can spore twice. No, <laughs> no, no, VGC broken. All right, yeah. So spore <laughs> high horsepower. That's fine. That's good chip. What? Wait, what? What? Huh? huh? Okay. What? Yeah, I guess you can spore, but all right. Now, now, guess who? Guess who we can Dynamax? So, Dynamax Tar, or Dynamax no. this? Okay, if you want to hear the most go to play of all time. Okay, what is it? This might not be a good play. Wait, yeah, it is because we want our Reggie Lucky. Hi. Okay, on um, Dynamax Extra Drill, Max Quake, Reggie Lucky, switch in Tar. Okay. I think. Max Rockfall yeah. or Max Quake? Uh, Max Quake. Okay, and then Tor. Because we'll, we'll set up Rockfall with T-Tar Sandstream. All and right. if it's that, Reggie Lucky, he dies to Sand. Alright. What? How'd that live? live? What the heck? Hey, but we get that Spadev boost, so we eat that up like a champ. Oh, you're proccing our weakness policy? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh I think 
mistake, my friend. Because now all we have to do here, all we have to do here. Okay, let let's think about this. Okay. So he is he is in DD and back, so he wants some spadef for that. Mm -hmm. But his last three Pokemon are physical attackers, so it's probably better to just steal spike the Regilecki so we can get the uh, defense boost because that right. might allow him to live uh, uh, Grassy Glide from Rillaboom. Then what do we do against the uh, Milotic? Do we just switch back into into a Mungus? Uh, no, what you want to do here is Steel Spike the Reggie Lackey, and um, it's just tough. Because if we miss a Rock Slide, we're in a bad shape. I could protect right now. I uh, know, Steel Spike, Reggie Lackey, Rock Slide. Okay. Just in case they switch out for Ensign. Alright. I guess they're not. They're going to go for the uh, for the uh, Muddy Water. Yeah. Oh, we Damn, lived it. Dick, what Damn. the hell? Yo, t <laughs> Yo, look at all these boosts on my boy. That's my boy, t right there. Oh my Hell God. yeah. <laughs> and you see that rail boom, that nice defense boost? Oh, yeah. You so... know, and in DD, like he can't follow me. So what you can do is you can Steel Spike, and you can just sack t here, because t not good. So Steel Spike the rail boom. How and... do we... Wait, preserve this... Pre preserve the 4-0. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. But he's... Uh... <laughs> He's gonna KO us with he's gonna KO us two uh grassy guys from uh, drill. So I think we just steal spike Rillaboom and we just uh rock sight or we lash out in DD. Okay. Well there he goes. That, that's fine. Goodbye, my son. You'll Wait, be your missed. <laughs> just KO here? Oh that was so oh Wait, sand almost did it. Alright, right, you you oh. Wait, he's not gonna take out the sand because ter grassy terrain. Goes um, after Hmm. So go Amoongus. <laughs> okay. And then just Moonblast? Or not Moonblast, and then just Sludge Bomb? Um, we should we should be able to... Wait, Can why we go? Wait, what? Alright, so I think we just Iron Head the Rillaboom. Okay. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna glide here, 100%. So... Iron Head the in and Sludge Bomb the Rillaboom. Okay. Because Rillaboom's gonna move first no matter what. Alright. Yeah, we should live that. Nice, barely. nice. Oh, okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. It was just like that. Jeez. Ooh. Not bad. Ooh. Yep. Yo, how did that? In that Indeedy took nothing. I in like Indeedy has one thing I've learned is Indeedy stat Indeedy stat line is deceptive. This thing has base eight or base sixty five defense, and you would never know it. You would never know mm -hmm. it. <laughs> it's but, crazy bulky. Yeah, it's Spadef is like one hundred five, isn't it? But it, this thing tanks physical hits though. It's insane. It does. Wait, hold up. Let me check the stats on this thing. I'm curious now. Um, let's see. Indeedy. Like, I know it's not good right now because there's a better psychic surger, but yeah. still, that's very funny to me. Um, and I should take hits so no, well. More usage than Lele, if you would believe it. Wait, huh? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. No, Why? I don't. Why? <laughs> Because Layla's trash right now. Layla's be bad right now? What? With Indeedy. Indeedy is Indeedy's a support mod. So it gets terrain. So you get terrain control and it gets follow me. So it's more of a support mod. Well, Layla, Layla just doesn't cut it because Layla, it has what base 95 speed. Mm -hmm. So it's not fast enough to really be a super offensive mon, so you need to really you need to scarf it. But if you scarf it, you're missing out on life orb or specs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's an awkward spot, and also with the abundance of steel types. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in, like when, when I learned that Indeedee had more usage than Lele, I was just like, "What the heck is life?" That doesn't Indeedee make sense nine, to me. Uh -huh. Indeed, nine um nine point uh, five percent usage rate. What? Tapu Lele has. Uh, four point eight three. So literally, like, uh, it is double. I mean, it's gonna catch up eventually. I think people will start to uh, use it more, more yeah, uh, towards the uh, towards the rest of the season. But yeah, that's crazy to me. Uh, I mean, like VG, you, like you would think, oh, it's Lele. Lele is gonna be better. And mm -hmm. historically in VGC, I mean, I mean, we didn't have any other psychic type users, but Lele has been dominant. VGC in twenty nineteen, hello, Lele was there. Mm -hmm. Lele was ready to just just destroy everything. Nowadays, it's just. It, it just doesn't really do much. It's, it's kind of funny. That's kind of sad, but it'll get its usage. Uh, yeah. All right. Ooh. Okay. Um, this is interesting. So, so is this like Trick Room? Yeah, it is Trick Room. Hattering and DD is Trick Room. Also, one thing about Indeedy. All right, Indeedy male is one, probably my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. Because if you look at its little ear tufts, they uh -huh. look like croissants. <laughs> They right, do. And then if you look at its body, it looks like a dreidel. <laughs> Best design. All right. Anyways, T 
Yeah. The Lucario Azumarill Arc. What the frick is this thing? Arctivish? Yeah. Arctiv. I've. Okay. Hattern. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't use this. Hattern and DD and Sonor. So he's probably going to set up Trickum here because Trickum's really good against our team. Okay. Actually, we don't have a great matchup versus Trick Room. Although Tyranitar is a very solid lead here. We just have to be wary of Lucario. Mm hmm. So what does Luke um, do? Does Luke do anything crazy or no? I guess Final Gambit. Like, I don't really know. It gets Final Gambit. Doesn't it get coaching? So, like, Wait, no. Riolu gets coaching. I've seen some yeah, uh, some yeah, gameplay with yeah, that yeah. thing. Right. I actually don't know what I want to do here at uh, all. All right. Um, I'm thinking of leading Dracovish. Wait, Indeedee Indeed, male doesn't get follow me. Okay. I so, forgot about that. So, Dracovish Titar? Yeah, Dracovish Titar, Amoongus, right. and we need... Do we need Rotom? No, Rotom's bad here. Zapdos? Extra drill because we have Sash. Okay. <laughs> I don't honestly know this time. <laughs> I don't honestly know. We're going to go on a win. I'm just going right, to go. So this is literally... Um, hmm, I don't know how to feel about this lead. This looks Wait, pretty bad. How, how much do you want to bet? How much damage do you think a vicious choice man, vicious Ryan is going to do to Azu here? It'll probably kill. Actually, no, I don't think it'll kill. Wait, it'll do a lot, though. It's pretty sure I does in it. Yeah, this does get freeze dry. There's no way he goes for it. He's not real. He, right, he you know probably what? will do it, yeah. but... Vicious Friend, Azu, Max Rockfall, Arctus, Arctivish. Okay. <laughs> I think. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh. wait. He maxes... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that he, almost he, killed Citrus. That does so much damage. <gasps> oh, that's... <laughs> No. Wait, what? Rockslide, I was gonna get that stuff out of here. Wait, wait copycat. Huh? What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, okay, wait. wait. Actually, I... Wait, okay, what just happened? Right, what just right, happened? So I, I need, I need, I need wait, okay, wait, 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 Gally. I need you to slow down and tell me what happened. Just okay, slow down. So okay. We, so we both Dynamax. Tyranitar was faster than Arctazole. We went for a max Rockfall, so it's super effective against Arctazole, but we got a crit. Okay. So one shot. Okay. Um, Azu went for copycat, and there's a reason why uh, people run copycat. Okay. All right, it, it's weird. I so essentially um, turn one instead of you know people normally you want to normally for trick room you want to have a redirector so you can get trick room up reliably. Uh huh. But what some people opt to do is well, Hatterene is your trick room on, and like Ndidi is your trick room on because they both get trick room. Mm -hmm. So if you um, Dynamax Hatterene, or if you Dynamax a Trick Room Mon and go click Max Guard off of Trick Room, and then you have the other Pokemon go for Copycat, it will copy the Trick Room that's off of Max Guard. I don't know if that makes sense. So it reverses Trick Room? No, no, no. So basically, you Dynamax your uh, Pokemon turn one. Okay. So and you click Max Guard. Okay. So you don't take any damage. But you know how like um for Tyranitar, our um our Rock Slide turned into a Max Rockfall. Mm hmm Well, Trick Room turns into a Max Guard. So any any non-attacking moves turn into Max Guard. Oh right, right, right. So, I know that. Um... Yeah. If they if they Max Guard and then they Copycat, they're copying their other move, and the Copycat goes through the Max Guard, so it will select the Trick Room. So basically, you protect your Dynamax Pokemon, and then you get to set up Trick Room. Yo, that's, I, that's hard. It's it's really hard to explain. Uh, that's that's the best explanation I can give it. Because the first time I saw this strategy, I was like in Master Ball tier. I was like top three hundred. I saw this strategy, easy four zero. I mean, easy four zero for my opponent. Jeez, I didn't see it coming. That's crazy. That's a very cool tech. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Um, we can do another one. Let's see what happens. Uh, how long do you want to make this vid? Um, well, let's see. It's not even 30 minutes yet. So right, we can right. probably do like two more. Okay. Since sounds this, good. Since this game's go by pretty fast anyway. And he's Dude, got the same strat look, that look we have. First three <laughs> look at our first three rounds. Look at their first three rounds. Yep. Yep. I know. Great, great minds thinking alike, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that seems actually mad scary though because he yo, has... Uh, yo, this guy is 1,200. Jeez. How many points did yeah, we get? Oh, okay. So, okay, so not that bad. Tornado is Tailwind. Mm -hmm. So he has options and speed control in Tailwind. Mm -hmm. so, and we don't have Tailwind, right? So his Dracovish and his Excadrill, if he gets up Tailwind, will always outspeed ours. Okay. And he has Cresselia, which means Cresselia, if he wants to go Trick Room mode with Tyranitar, he can also do that and try to underspeed us. Hmm. That being said, what really stops us from leading Zapdos? 
nothing for real. It's very free. Zapdos Amoongus seems pretty good to me. All right, I like that. Um, um this is tough though because Zapdos Amoongus, we do have to be worried about Tornadus because Tornadus is actually a pretty decent Maxmon, mm -hmm. and we have to be worried about Kartana because Kartana runs actually Ari some Kartana run Aerial Ace mm -hmm. to turn it into Max Airstream, so that can end. Um, Rage Powder won't redirect it. So we do have to have a counter for Kartana in the back. I said ditto. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Rotom is okay. Rotom could be pretty uh, good against Kart anyway, right? It's good against Kart, but it's, it's not good against Vish. And mm. it's not good against Kart. It's good against Exca. It's hard to say, though. I don't. Our own T turret is not good here um, at all. So we could take advantage of his T turret and bring Draco Vish. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Um. Actually, I like that. So lead Zapdos Amoongus Excadrill Vish. Okay. I think because Amoongus is really only going to be good at redirecting, um, and I think Amoongus is maybe worth bringing for redirection. Mm -hmm. Um, that's tough. But what about Rotom? I thought Rotom was good here. Rotom was good for Cart, but anything else other than Cart, it's trash. It gets one shot by Fishes Ren. It it can't do damage to Titar. It gets. I mean, if Exley draws Rock Slide, it's a 30% chance to flinch, and we're taking a good a bit of damage. So, lead Zapdos... Oh, wait. Yeah, lead Zapdos and Moongus. Mm -hmm. um, Drill and then Vish. Drill and Vish, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got the Tar Her. and the uh, Cart lead. All right, so... Honestly, turn one, if you're a Mad Lad... Rage, we should pow protect. Rage Powder into Thunder's Kick? Yeah. Um, protect Amoongus okay. turn one. Okay. Because we can't redirect Kartana. Um, I don't think it's worth Dynamaxing Zap. Actually, I think, yeah, um, Dynamax Zapdos and Airstream the Kartana turn one. So we can uh, be faster than it next turn. Okay. I think. Let's see what happens. Oh. Dynamax T-Tar, what's happening here? <gasps> Yo, he's using the goaded strat. Yo, what the f- Okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't uh, think I, we're gonna I, live I this. Oh, shoot, we're dead. Ugh. Oh, guess who should have rage powdered? <laughs> I was thinking rage powder too, though. Bad, bad, I was bad. thinking wait, it. Wait, wait, but guess what? Guess who one-shots, though? Oh, Draco <laughs> 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 It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wait, he... wait, 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 wait. I'm, he's, I'm gonna reach powder. Should uh, I reach powder or he he can't KO us though. This is actually no no no. Uh, this is tough. I mean, it seems like oh, he's just or Excadrill because if Dracovish dies, uh, we just have our Excadrill, and so hopefully we can deal with his Excadrill. So Spore Excadrill and Ficious Ren the Tar. Yeah. All right, I'm going for it. Oh. So we should. Uh. Does so much. Jeez. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, we still have that. And we get an extra drill. Mm-hmm. And um, does he max guard his T tar? He probably will. Actually, Dude, I don't think he's in it. I don't think he will. It's already too. It's already too weak. I don't think he needs it anymore. No, but the reason why he's probably gonna max guard it, like he could max guard here if he wants to try to stall out and make sure that he can. Hold on, I'm trying to think this. This is he. He can. He's gonna max guard if he wants to try to um bait our high horsepower mm -hmm. and then get a turn off on sleep. So uh, attack the drill. Low, this is low ladder. So just. <laughs> this is low ladder so um dang i don't even know what to do here rage powder and uh, iron head t-tar because we want a 100 percent chance to uh, land all right okay yeah i didn't oh wait what so he actually did it he actually did do it he did do it but this is okay um i think <laughs> so um so what, we, what we have to wait could we kill tar with sludge bomb and then high horsepower because we're actually faster than it no, we're not. We're 46 speed. Titar at min speed is 59 because we're uh, min speed Amoongus to help compensate with Trick Room. Right. Okay. I was so, I was thinking that maybe t that maybe we could still outspeed the Tar because so I don't think they run I a think, lot of speed, do they? 
No, they don't. I think what we have to do is we have to rock slide, hopefully double connect, because we need to we need to break Sash. Pretend wait, he's not Sash on extra drill because he is torn. Wait, no, I think he definitely is Sash on or he's definitely Sash on extra drill. Um, Rage Powder and Rock Slide. Okay. I'm not making a lot of sense here, but I feel like it's the play. Well, if it'll break the Sash, then we gotta go for it. We killed the it Char at least. Okay, okay, wait, asleep. he's asleep. He's asleep. Okay. So, and what's he having back? If he has Crest, he has Vish. Well, that's it. That's wait, it. wait a second. Vish is banned. Okay, I have a, I have a really ballsy play. Okay, well, what are you, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> protect, protect Extra Drill Spore the Vish. Because he's gonna try to protect Extra Drill just this turn to bait us. Fish, oh! <laughs> nice! Dude, it's, almost like, it's almost like we play the game. It's almost like we play the game. <laughs> and now what you do, start uh, sludge bombing the Drake. Wait. Do yeah, we sludge, sludge bomb, bomb Fish? Sludge, sludge bomb the Dracovish and high horsepower the Exodus. The reason why we don't want to rage powder is that we, um, our sashes, our sashes procced with Excadrill and we want Amoongus to eat as many fish as Rens as it can. Okay. So sludge bomb the Vish and high horsepower Excadrill. All right, we if have to win this. That's a rip. We have to win this. Wait, no, we don't have to win this pizza anyway. We just have to land yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we just have to land it. Let's go. Yo, not even oh bad. <laughs> oh, thirty-five percent. Who said Amoongus was weak? Yo, that was a coded game. <laughs> oh, oh. At least oh. your Dynamax turn one. Not you're still in the game because you know why? Because there's Dracovish. Damn. Yo, I really think I really think that turn one, if we just rage powder into seas into Thunder's kick, that would have been so good. Yeah, that was that was my bad. <laughs> that, was, that was the better play. <laughs> There's literally no reason not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, man. We won it, we won it. Yeah, we take those. But man, it's crazy. Yeah. Like these games still go by incredibly fast. I know. Um, like usually, like again, like a year or well, not a year. Probably like two years ago, like games like these, or I don't think, well, game not games like these, but like games usually usually would take like up to twenty turns back then. Well, that's the thing; people get more experience as time goes on. So I've had matches that have taken like twenty five minutes. Wow. On Pokemon, but that's when you get like super highlighter. That's when everyone's using like super standard, and everyone plays pretty much super standard and more conservative. I see. I want to get to that point. I think it could be pretty fun. It, it it gets it gets crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. But I need to get but I need to get uh get consistent with this, cause <laughs> hey, hey, we're doing we're doing well here. And honestly, you were right that that turn one rage powder thunderous kick was the play. So you know even even someone like me that's been playing VGC for a while, you know, didn't didn't recognize. But that that was the better play there. Mm. Because we didn't have to lose ourselves. <laughs> Turn one. <laughs> so what are we doing here? He's got a Politoed. If I know my VGC history, I know that Politoed is very good. All right. So ju judging by his team, this is a. I mean, this isn't a standard rain team, but I pretty much know what his team is. So Coldfish is Swiss Slim. Um, uh, Salamence is Hurricane because it gets Hurricane and Hydro Pump. Toxic Crook is Dry Skin, and he's trying to compensate for the water weakness on Heatran by going rain here. Mm -hmm. Um, this is tough. Um, looks like. Hmm. Actually, I don't even know what I want to do. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying this every match. <laughs> How okay. about Zapdos Amoongus and then like Drill Wait, Tar? That's... This man might be better at VGC than I am. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I'm just. I'm just making a guess. I'm just making Wait, a man, guess, man. Yeah. No, I like that. Zapdos Amoongus as a lead. Okay. We we need Tar in the back to override his weather. I'm debating whether um whether to bring Rotom instead of Drill, but I think Drill is just so, so good here. Mhm. Mm wait, 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 wait. We could also use Dracovish to take advantage of the rain. Uh, Actually, that's, that's too crazy. I think I think yeah. Char drill is better. Drill. Yeah. Drill. All right. Coldfish, Salamence. Okay. Oh, this is good. Uh, Unless he's in. So. Hey. So weird. Oh, he he messed up. He you hey you know what we have? Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Dynamax, Dynamax. I'm about to click oh, it. I'm about to click it. <laughs> click it. Air sheen that meant right now and. Um, rage powder because we have a Koba berry. So if he wants to go for a fly move, it's fine. All right, bet. Do it. Do it. I wonder if this kills. Oh, oh. You are doing nothing. I just want you to know. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Wait. what? Oh, oh my <laughs> god. And what? What? That shit died. <laughs> that... 
Yeah, Zapdos insane. Yo. This might be a, might be a quick game. This game man. is oh oh no oh, oh. oh no. Brother, brother, what are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Do we have speed this or no? Uh yeah we um wait 250 150 uh no we don't if he's max speed we don't okay but basically what we do is Coldfish doesn't threaten us right so we just max airstream the Ments and Rage Powder because Coldfish can't KO a Moongus. Yo, this is so. Oh my god, this is this is just too much. Delete. <laughs> this is too much. Gapdos. Gapdos. Zapdos is monster. I've never used Zapdos before. That's All Gapdos, right. man. That's Gapdos. Uh, I've never, I've never <laughs> used Gapdos before. In a forfeit. Dude, we are the kings of making people forfeit here. Oh my god. This is Dude. so fun. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, VGC, you, you click that Dynamax option. And that's that's the thing with Zapdos. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Quillfish is actually pretty good um, against Dracovish, Tyranitar, and Exodrill because it gets Intimidate. Mence um, isn't the best, but it does at least get Intimidate. But Zapdos... It loves those intimidates because it, then it boosts its attack. You know what I mean? So I they feel can't, like yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like his team could be stronger if yeah. What were you gonna say? They they can't be too safe. Wait a second. What? Was he intimidated on Quillfish? No. No, he wasn't. I was about. I thought he was for a second. I was no. like, what the heck? I mean, that wouldn't make sense if he was running rain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think his team could have been stronger. Maybe if he had like a like Kingdra over uh, over Mints, he might have gotten something going. See, here's here's the thing with Kingdra in this meta. Um. Or in previous in previous um, formats, so or in previous um, series, so we're talking series five, which was maybe in June, July, mm -hmm. uh, that um, range this year. Kingdra was actually really good. I took Kingdra to seventeen ninety five on ladder. Ooh, and that's actually um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I won a won a tournament with Kingdra, um, hosted by uh, a huge a huge or. I would say huge, huge for Pokemon VGC, but small in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Mount Silver VGC, I used a rain team. I used uh, Pelipper Kingdra uh, was the main core there. But nowadays, Kingdra, it just doesn't cut it. Um, mm -hmm. So honestly, when it comes to rain teams, I actually like where he's going with his rain team. I mm -hmm. like Polyterrot. I like Rillaboom. For me, rain team should be... A rain team nowadays for me is like you bring Politoed. Actually, hold. On, I'll just pull up my rain team that I'm working on right now. So this is what I'm working on right now. It's Politoed. Oh, wait. They can't see it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll just I'll just tell you. Okay. Wait, no, so, Ashley. Ashley, you can um. Uh, do you have it in the uh, in the chat? I can just put it in here. I mean, I, I don't want to. It, it might be for some tournaments, so I'm not gonna say like the specific move sets and whatnot though. Oh, I'll okay. tell you. Fine. All right, go so ahead. It, Politoed, Zapdos, regular Zapdos. Ooh. Rillaboom, Metagross, Entei, and Tapu Fini. Yo, that sounds dirty. It's, it, it's dirty. And, like, that's the thing with Rain. I think Rain nowadays, um, like, beforehand, it was more so offensive. But nowadays, I feel like you're, just because of the meta, you're more inclined to run a, um, you're more inclined to run more of a balanced team. Hmm. Also, Bulldoze on Entei so you can proc Metagross's weakness policy. Yo, that is it's, such... It's, it's this, dirty. It's so cool. Like... Yeah, VGC, VGC is an entirely new demon. <laughs> Let's put it that way. No, like, definitely it does. Like, it feels... It feels more versatile than it did, like, months ago. Um, Like, this, <laughs> this feels a lot more... Uh, I want to say it feels a lot more like VGC now. It's diverse. That's what I gotta say. Um, like two, two months ago, it was trash. <laughs> like I, I, I did not enjoy playing it. You just saw hyper offense, but now you can build hyper offense like we have here, mm -hmm. or you can build more balance, kind of like our opponent with, with the Politoed, Rillaboom, and Heatran. You know that Fire Water Grass core. Mm -hmm. um, you can just honestly build. You can't build whatever you want to do well with it, but you, you have a lot of leeway in what um, in what you want to build. Yo. It's, it's a great meta, but yo, th this has been hype. We yeah. got to showcase the power. Honestly, we got to showcase. I think every mon except Rotom, but that's fine because we mean, we did not encounter our we didn't encounter a Metagross or a Glass Year, which was what Rotom Heat was for. Mm -hmm. But we showcased the power of Redirection and Moongus. How hard Zapdos can hit. Just how broken Dracovish is, and that it needs to be banned forever and like locked away in a dungeon because that <laughs> mon is disgusting. <laughs> that mon is. Come on, it's disgusting, man. Again, from a singles player, that thing. 
66% to an Azu. <laughs> what is life? Oh my god. I'm I'm just glad that thing isn't in the current meta right now. In singles, I mean. That thing. Dude, that thing is an Uber. I know. I'm glad it is. It, it deserves to be there. Hell, it no. It should go in AG. <laughs> Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, is it an AG? No, it's not. But I'm saying it should go there. That's how broken should, that thing is. <laughs> imagine, imagine next gen, they just give a Swiss one and they just said, ah, frick it, you know. We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna go all out. Then that mom would never see the light of, of no, day I'll ever. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Gallade, I enjoyed you coming on the channel and enjoyed this VGC showcase. Um, You know what? I think I do want to commit to playing more VGC. Like, I know I got to deal with the old gens. I got to deal with the current gen. VGC might have to be added onto the plate, you know? Got to gotta eat big, you know? You know what I'm saying? Got to eat yeah. big. Got to keep grinding. So, I might do VGC. You can have your spaghetti, but you might want room for dessert. And that dessert, VGC right now, it's, like, it's looking pretty tasty, my friends. Honestly. <laughs> it's looking pretty tasty. Like, yeah. you don't want to mess up. Especially that Gapdos, guys. That Gap Gapdos? Hell yeah, yeah. Gapdos. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was actually tons of fun. Honestly, I haven't played VGC with a friend in, well, a couple of weeks now. And just forget how much fun VGC is, honestly. So I yeah. play this game, Pokemon. It's, it's, it's awesome. That's where it's at. The community, the people you play with, it's great. Exactly. Yeah, thank exactly. you for having me on. This has been so much fun. Yeah. I, I definitely had a lot of fun doing this, man. I'm going to, like, you know what? We should definitely do more. More of these VGC things. So I'm gonna have you try. I'm gonna have you like you know come through for more of these, and I'll see if I can find more VGC people as well. Oh, and sometime I do want to try to do like singles or ADV or whatever with you because uh, I haven't done OU in uh, maybe four months, six months. I don't really know how long it's been. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, so if you guys did enjoy this one, please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe follow me on twitter join my discord bushido gang and subscribe for some more content on the channel also follow me follow me on my poke amino check out my smoke on profile all those links will be down in the description it's trying to reach 400 subs by the end of the year so let's get down to that goal again check out galley he does a lot of vgc content i'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy it especially with the energy that he had with this live i'm sure that he'll be providing that same energy in his own lives as well so, yes, uh, sir, you know it. <laughs> so, yeah, be oh, safe. Wait, wait, oh. by the way, by the way. Uh, 98 subs, two subs away from 100, so. Hey, yo, y'all no. heard that? Y'all heard that? Hey, yo, get him to 100. Get him to 100. Bushido gang, get him to 100. Get him to 100. Get him to 100. This guy deserves it. Like, this is, like, seriously, this guy deserves it. He knows what he's, he knows his stuff about VGC, so help him out. Help him get there. And uh, yeah, so again, be safe, y'all. Wash your hands, and I will see you in the next Showdown Live. Peace out. You're not going to say anything? Oh, yeah. All right. Peace <laughs> out, guys. <laughs>